Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CDP. I'm here on Paksunyemi. This is a new mod map out by Yamo. 65.02 megabytes download. Um, the translation from Finnish to English, and these are often wrong, says thick cape. So Paksunyemi means thick cape, potentially, if you're Finnish, let me know. Um, that's, what it's, <laughs> that's what it says. So... Uh, contracts are available on this map. Um, there are required mods for this map. The required mods will download automatically. We've got the old chicken coop by Carl TG, the old pig fattening barn by Razak, buildings of Norway by Ola Haldor, the grain storage pack by Matthew FS, the sawmill by Yamo, and the Finnish machinery sheds by Farmari99. They will automatically download. So as far as mods go put in by the map maker, there are no um, vehicles or machinery. If we go into build mode, there's all the required mods that I've just talked about. They're all in here. In addition to those, I think the only other thing in here, there was nothing on decoration, landscape, anything like that, was under animals. Uh, under cows, we've got one there that says um, Paxunyemi mod. That's the standard pasture that normally holds 15. That's just been increased to hold 50. And then I think the other one was under sheep. There's a pasture there. This is Paksunyemi as well. That's gone from 15 standard up to 150. So as far as I can see, other than the required mods that I've just listed, and you can see there we've got buildings of Norway, um, quite a few of those. Um, there's no other mods that have been added in by the map maker. There's no biogas plant on the map, so if you want to do biogas work, um, you can find a space to put one. The map looks like this, with the lake up to the top, of the map, it's a lovely little harbour area at the top there, it looks absolutely fantastic, harbour, marina, however you want to refer to that. Um, we start down here at the main store and work our way around. We'll talk about slot count and stuff when we get to the main farm, and that is actually the, the last bit we get to. Plot prices, field prices are actually pretty good. Um, there's a nice blend between farming and forestry, there's plenty of fields already here. There's plenty of open areas where you can make your own fields, which are at the moment grass, but you can make them into your own fields if you want to. So, for example, that one plot 50, 166 grand. Smaller plot there for 163. What have we got? Um, plot 23 there for 55 grand. 27 there for 35. There are a few plots as we go around that you're going to need to purchase to get certain triggers to show up. For example, out here, we've got a grain storage uh, with silo, but there is a, a farm here. There's a farm here at plot 31, and then we've got, where's the other one? There's another farm here. So what I'll do is I'll put some money in later on. As we go around, we'll buy the plots we need to to get the triggers to come up so we can see what we're looking at. So from here, down the bottom, oh, there are collectibles, 100 collectibles, and you can buy the verges of the map for, I think, about 1.2 million, and that takes in the lake at the top and the roadways if you want to buy the, I always refer to as uh, the periphery of the map or the verges, as was suggested to me. Um, yeah, first thing I want to talk about, the map edge is glaringly obvious. That's not something I can sort of, you know, if I look, just look that way the whole time. But the map edge down here at the southern part of the map is glaringly obvious. You know, that's the map edge. But we start at the main store. So vehicle shop, just there. Workshop trigger just here. This is also the reset point. So if you need to reset any vehicles for any particular reason, this is where they will reset to. We've got a pickup that you start with on New Farmer, but you don't start with on Farm Manager and start from scratch. Like I said, we'll talk about the rest of the machinery and equipment when we get to it. I've got to do a little bit of out and back on this one, but just because of the way the, the map's laid out. This road pretty much splits the map in half. This goes north, south, south, north. When you look at it. That road sign was not touched by me. That was on the floor when I got here. Honest governor. Um, we've got gas station to our right. We've got the Joker cell point just there. It does grapes and potatoes and things like that. I know I've said this before if you're new to the game and you're not sure what a cell point will actually take, if you go down to your cell points, then scroll down your crop types on the right hand side, it will tell you all the places that take them. So if we go down a bit further, we get there you go. That side there, you've got Joker. So that's grapes. Uh, what else was it? I'm sure it was potatoes, but not sugar beet. There we go, a few other things, eggs, wool, things like that. So yeah, you can always check to see what things you can sell there. 
we've got cereal factory and we've got farmers market just here and then we head into the woodland We've got bakery, we've got spinnery, and we've got carpentry. We've got all the wreaths over here. So there are a few production chains on the map already, but you can put more in if you want to. Of course, you can find yourself a nice bit of land, nice flat plot or flat-ish, do a bit of landscaping. Job done. Come a bit further out, and we've got the first of those uh, grain barns, one of the required mods. So it's a grain barn with a 100,000 litre silo, that's built into it. It's just here. I think there are three or four of these around the map as we go around, which we'll see. We've got lighting on the outside. So grain storage or vehicle storage on the inside here. Another light switch there, uh, and then we've got our silo just there. Like I say, hundred thousand liters. You can buy this plot of land. Well, you can buy any of the plots of land and have your farm on here but then just to the side of here through the trees you can just see we've got a little chicken farm I guess there's a chicken pen there's lots of these little trackways scattered around the map with a few fields around all this as well so chicken pen uh, this will hold uh, 35 chickens if you buy this plot of land which is, oh, where are we, just here. So this plot here, which takes in that grain barn as well, is 192,728. If you buy that plot of land, you get access to all of this anyway, um, but you get a sleep trigger up here, here. So you've got another sleep trigger. There are, again, there are about four or five sleep triggers as we go around at the different farms. From here, going to head out to the west there's where I said that um, there's another grain silo but if you buy the plot of land we'll get some more triggers come up and we have to put some money in and then in a little while uh, once I own that plot of land I'll put a little bit more in because I'm going to need to buy quite a few plots of land as we go around it's one of those maps where a lot of the triggers don't show until you've actually bought the plots so uh, where going. as you can see it all kind of sweeps out you've got these big wide open areas with grassland and stuff which you can transform into fields or leave as grass if you want to do grass work especially if you're doing dairy or you're doing cows you need tomics ration so if we take this fork just here we come to this large building now this large building is part of this whole farm so grain building that we can see on the map so we've come uh, out along there we're now here so they've got that grain building here this whole plot is 537,040 so I'm just going to put some money in there with me okay so if we come back into here and we buy this plot hang on, there we go see the extra triggers have popped up so here we've got the Bergton cow barn we've got the grain storage that was already there and we've got a sleep trigger pops up as well so the cow barn here, this does 200 cows with a dialogue box, feed trigger, milk trigger, slurry store is connected to this around the side. Now what I will say with regard to slot count on the map, I, I have often referred to something what I, I, I often call um, hidden slots. So on this map, that's one of those, all of these buildings that are on plots of land that you can purchase and then own. Once you've purchased the land, you can remove pretty much all of these buildings. You can certainly remove the cow barn, you can remove the sleep trigger, you can remove the grain silo, the chicken pen we just looked at with the other sleep trigger and the other grain silo or grain shed. Some of these smaller sheds I haven't been able to remove. I did have a bit of a test to see what could be removed off the map and I managed to get the slot count right down. Um, Again, that's in type 2. So, 100,000 litre grain silo, just there, same as the one we've just seen. Is this a workshop trigger? I think this is a workshop. There you go, workshop trigger just in there. 
And then around the back of the building here, we've got another sleep trigger. There we go. One of the collectibles. Sorry, spoiler alert. It's only one. It's only one I actually came across, to be fair. So there's your sleep trigger. So as I said, if we're going to build mode, go to demolish. These can be removed. These I couldn't remove for some reason. The workshop I could, and the silo I could, and then obviously the cow barn as well I could if I wanted to. Um, so you can kind of go around and if you find the slot counts too high, too rich for your tastes, and you want to um, free up some space, if you sort of look around the map and decide, well actually I'm not going to use any of those, once you've sold all of the buildings off, you can then sell the land back, and then you can kind of go from wherever you want to after that. So what I'm going to do now, I said this was a bit of an out and back, so we're out here at the moment, we're going to come all the way back here to the store where we started, and then head out to the east. So I'm going to see you back there in a moment, and we'll do the eastern side, then we'll work our way around, and we will take in hopefully everything as we go and um, while I'm doing that I'll put some more money in as well so I will see you momentarily okay back past the store heading east we've got the animal dealer just off to the left hand side there we continue east I've, I've tried to have a look across the map as I always do when I'm doing my, my prep for a map tour just to have a look and see any areas where there might be especially when you get a map like this one where you've got plots of land that have things that you need to buy to get the triggers to come up it's always good to kind of have a look across and see if you can find anything else um, you know you kind of get an idea when you get areas like this where you've got an open plot that doesn't show anything on I've whizzed out to a few of these. That is a placeable area. There's nothing there. Um, that is a grass area. So I do try to where I can. Often on the map, like for example there, it looks like there are buildings and there. So you kind of get an idea where these plots are going to be, where there are going to be extra things to purchase. But anyway, we've got a debris crusher just there. We've got oil mill just here. And we've got our dairy just there. I have to say the grass is a real thick, rich, green grass um, say texture, but yeah. So, heading north. You can see bottom left on the mini-map. To the left and then left again is where that placeables area is. To the left and carry on the right hand fork takes you up to a little set of fields there are no buildings running up there there's a little cluster of fields there these are all kind of staging areas for forestry and that kind of thing really so coming up we have got the sawmill which is one of the required mods by yamo now this one if you've got the platinum dlc installed platinum expansion this one will do all of the the various different products the wood cell point is just in there. We have uh, stuff spawns out that side. This was one of the mods I reviewed this recently, so fairly recently. So there you go. Planks, prefab wall, wood beams, and planks can all be done here. Head out from there. Now, let's just double check something here. So, from here, I did off camera take a drive up there. That is open grass fields. It was strange because it looks like there's no buildings showing, but it looks like there's a road that should go to somewhere. There are no buildings up there. That's all just uh, open grass areas. Again, you can purchase if you want to. We're going to head that way. In preparation to that, I'm going to buy this plot. So, plot 31. If you look at it at the moment, there's no triggers on there, but you can see some buildings. So, that plot, when we do that, we get a sheep farm. Sheep farm with sleep trigger, and there's a hayloft. Now, the hayloft is an interesting one. Let's we'll take that fork. And then that fork. Do 
so sleep trigger is just there now with this one and the next farm we come to we have got um, two sheep pens we've got the sheep barn this side and then we've got the sheep pasture this side the sheep barn will hold 200 and the pasture will do 150 dialogue box is just here With your feed trigger, we can go up into here as well for storage, etc. Uh, but this is where I think the um, wall pallets spawn, and then we've got dialogue box just there for the pasture, and then your water and feed point is just there for the pasture. Now, the hay loft is all the way along there. Now, why the hay loft is interesting is because if I go into here and go to silos and we scroll out to the end that one there buildings of Norway Bruholt Hayloft now I'm not wrong am I <laughs> that's nine zeros that's a billion litres of storage isn't it six zeros is a million yeah that's that's saying a billion litres of storage the buildings of Norway was a pack that came out one of the times I was away um, I don't think I did a, I didn't do a mod review of the buildings of Norway, I'm pretty sure I didn't. Unless I did the original but didn't do one of the updates, possibly. Um, so yeah, a, a, a billion litres of storage? <laughs> that's nuts, but anyway. So that's part of this farm, you'll get that trigger up here. Taking out is done there, putting in is done up that ramp. In there craziness right so we've got a footpath here and we've got the main road this is the road that goes north south like i said about before if we cut into here we've got another grain storage building but these are all relevant because this is another farm so we come past here we're now at this point this farm here will set you back 347,352. when you buy that and do that all these triggers pop up so we have got a workshop trigger just there we've got sleep trigger and wardrobe trigger there as we drive through we've got another workshop trigger at that building there just in front of us another one of those grain buildings with a hundred thousand litre storage we've got a cow barn just there with our dialogue box milk triggers and feed triggers uh, the cow barn here does 125 and then the pasture around this side for the cows also it does 50 my handwriting it could be an 80. No, it's 50. So 125 in the barn, 50 out in the pasture if you want. Pasture does require water as well. So that's another cow bar, a cow farm. From here, if we just whiz down the road a little bit. There's a little fork we're going to take here takes us to the tailors just tucked away in the forest there we go so that's your tailors and now we're going to head north up towards the little marina now it does say in the description some houses have wood cell triggers for selling firewood and wood chips we're going to pass a couple of those in just a moment. I think there are three I've come across. There's a lot of forestry. Now it does say as well, uh, lots of forest trees from Homercra, uh, thanks to Oscar8599 with edited spruce textures there as you can see there's a whole load of different sorts so on our left and right here we've got a house there which has got a wood cell point house there which has got a wood cell point big grass area to the right And then coming up on our left, we've got a pig farm. 
Now you, you don't have to buy the plot of land, but if you buy the plot of land, there's a sleep trigger. Um, is it and a workshop? I, might, I think it might just be the sleep trigger. We can we can buy it. We've, I'll put enough money that we can. So I've just taking the left fork there and swinging around. So this is the pig fattening barn. One of the required mods. So we've come from here, went down to the tailors, we've come all up here, past two wood cell points. Up here we're now at this point. This little farm here, 78,224. So water point, feed point, down the other end we've got the uh, dialogue box for the pigs. This does 200 pigs I think it is. Slurry point just there. Yep, 200. And then you'll probably be able to see the blue disc now when we come past the building. The building just over there, that red building, that becomes a sleep trigger once you purchase the land. I think the building next to it, I thought it was um, a workshop, but I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm now doubting myself. I don't think it is. I think it's because there were two at the other place that I came across. I think as far as I can tell, it's just a shed. Yeah, so that's the pig farm. From the pig farm, we will whiz around and we're going to take a loop around top of the lake with a few little um, jetties and points it's really picturesque up this top end and then we've got a couple of cell points up here we have got which was this Oh, this was just the third. I knew there was another one. Now, this is another wood cell point. So this building here is a wood cell point. And this is the grain mill. Now, this one needs to be purchased. This is important. It's a fantastic looking building. I think these are decorative. Yeah, these were decorative. But if we come into here, the grain mill, and purchase this, it will save back 96 grand. But when we click on this, you will now see we can do wheat, barley, oat, sorghum, flour. We can also do oils. We can also do grapes, grape juice, raisins, sugar beet, so we can do sugar, cereal, butter, cheese. <laughs> this thing does everything. Um, I know we have got, to the south, we have got an oil mill, we have got, um, what do we have to the south? Cereal factory, oil mill, dairy, so we had a few of those things already, but this one is a kind of Acme does everything type facility. grain mill. Right, from here then. So we're now up here. We have did this little loop round. We're going to head back down to this road here and we're going to head out to the main farm. The main farm that you start with on New Farmer. I will see you down there at that little turning. And we'll head out to the farm. Now, something piqued my interest as I was driving on here. It was one of those things as I was driving through, I looked to the fields to the left and happened to glance to my right and saw something in the trees. I thought, oh, that's interesting. It looked like a massive tree, something like a sequoia type thing. But it wasn't. So let me go a bit further. I don't know if you'll see. But we will we'll take a walk out. Just to the right now, over there. These are rock piles, stone piles. Look. There's loads of them. It's almost like a quarry-ish, I guess. Um, the plot of land here is that one there for 394 grand. But yeah, in amongst all the, the trees, you've got all these stone and rock piles, which was a little bit of a, a curiosity as I went through the woodland. So yeah, that's there. If you want to do a bit of rock work, turn your rock to lime or just sell it the debris crusher there's a whole load in there so as we open out into this little field area this is the main start farm now again once purchased all these buildings can be sold you can clear this area completely if you want to get your slot count down or there might be a particular building you don't want or you know, that's entirely your choice nice little farm here sleep trigger 
over to the side there. We do have some bags of seed. We've got fertilizer. We've got herbicide pallets just over there. Fuel tank. That's a 15,000 litre fuel tank. It's empty at the moment. We've got a workshop trigger just there. We do start with in all three game modes the small greenhouse production chain. That's in here. We've got a water tanker. Harvester is just there. Silage clamp uh, with a forage wagon. Front load of stuff, grass working gear. There we go. Open the gate. A couple of tractors, very fitting. The Valtra and the uh, Valtra Valmet. Stone picker, trailer, plow, fertilizer, lime spreader, fertilizer spreader. And then we've got a Farmer 500 silo, 500,000 litre. And then we've got the cow barn to this side, just here. And this one will do 60 cows. So, slot count then is probably now the time to talk about it. On New Farmer, it's 1,337. All the buildings are all over the map, all the buildings are here, and all the vehicles and machinery. On Farm Manager and Start From Scratch, that slot count comes down to 1,160. All the buildings are still all across the map and are still here at this farm, but you don't have any of the vehicles. You don't have any of the vehicles and machinery, but the buildings and stuff are still here. So I went around the map buying up plots of land and selling as many of the buildings as I could. I got the slot count down to 937. You might be able to get it a little bit lower than that, um, but I got it down to that. If you were curious, if you wanted to you know, bring the slot count down further than 1,160, um, that, of course, your prerogative. So, if we just jump into this one here and scroll down. So, all the equipment we've just seen, the pickup I started with down at the vehicle store, we've seen all this. The seed of the front load of the weights, forage wagon, mowers, forestry equipment we're going to get to in just a moment. Uh, we do have, under forestry equipment, we've got the Heisermatt um, wood chipper and we've got the Kesla trailer with crane, which you will find as we go through the farm the other side part of the latest update from Giants was the uh, pallet and bale storage building we have one of those just out here so pallet and bale storage building 250 pallets or bales this one will hold and then we've got our forestry equipment the wood chipper and the uh, forestry trailer just here, so we go to the now bottom right, total capacity zero out of 250 we've got stored in there. So we are now, we did the main farm, we've gone around there, we're at the pallet storage. I have had a whiz out here and a whiz out there. We have got a couple of fields, as you can see, or three fields. Um, but there's no other buildings out there. And that's the map. We started there and went all the way out to here. We then came back and went all the way out to there. We went up to the sawmill across to the farm there, did that one there and the tailors. Back up through there at the wood sale points to the pig farm, round the loop there. We came back past there, out to the main farm with the rock piles there. There may be other rock piles, there may be more around the map. They're just the ones I saw from the side of the road. And then out here, our pallet, pallet and bale storage facility. And that's the map. That's Paxunyemi by Yamo. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free, and if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.